for it's Miss Foster here and I'm going to be taking you through the reading section of your work pack in this video so it's your villains reading which we are carrying on with and we are still focusing on the witches so we're going to look through the text together and then we're going to look at some examples of some questions you have your key vocabulary down the side on the right and we're going to look through the text together picking out certain parts so Grandma has said to a witch you would be smelling absolutely disgusting. What would I be smelling of? I asked. Dog's droppings, my grandmother said. I reeled. I was stunned. Dog's droppings? I cried. So the fact that it says here, I was, I was stunned. This shows me that the boy at the, this point is so shocked. He's so shocked that he's almost unable to speak, that his grandmother has just told him that he would smell like dog's droppings to a witch. This shows us exactly how horrified he is with this information that he's just heard. So he's almost in denial that this could even be the case. He doesn't want to believe it. The fact that it says dog's droppings, I cried. So the word cried tells us he obviously didn't actually cry, he wasn't physically crying, but it tells us that he was not happy with what his grandmother was telling him. He was displeased with what she was saying and he almost didn't want to believe it. I am not smelling of dog's droppings. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. What's more, my grandmother said, speaking with a touch of relish. So relish is a part, one of our words in our key vocabulary. So it's when someone shows great enjoyment. So grandmother showed great enjoyment in telling her grandson that he smelt of dog's droppings to a witch. She found it probably rather funny and entertaining that this was his reaction. And she almost enjoyed probably winding him up about this. So this shows us that grandmother's character here Although she is very serious, as we've read previously, she can also have a laugh and a joke with her grandson. So she takes great enjoyment in telling him this and winding him up about the fact that he would smell of dog's droppings to a witch. To a witch, you'd be smelling of fresh dog's droppings. That simply is not true, I cried. I know I am not smelling of dog's droppings, stale or fresh. There's no point in arguing about it, my grandmother said. It's a fact of life. So this phrase here, it's a fact of life. So she's telling her grandson that this is how it is and there's nothing that he can actually do about it. So she's almost saying that denying the fact that he doesn't smell like dog's droppings will not get him anywhere because to a witch, that is exactly how he would smell. So she's almost told him at this point, just to accept it and move on from it. There's nothing that he can do. I was outraged. I simply couldn't bring, bring myself to believe what my grandmother was telling me. So, if you see a woman holding her nose as she passes you in the street, she went on, that woman could easily be a witch. So I'm not going to read the rest for you because you can obviously read the rest of page 22 and 23 yourself and then you have page 24 here which you can also read for yourselves before having a look at the questions which we're about to take a look at now here are your day one questions so you have your key vocabulary at the top again and then you have your one star and your two star questions so as usual everyone should start on your one star questions and then move to your two star before attempting your ext question at the bottom which is a little trickier we're going to look at the first two questions together as we did previously so question one asks us what did the boy's grandmother say he would smell like to a witch and it says the answer is on page 22 and the second question is find and copy the word that shows the boy was angry. So just one word. So the first one, what did the boy's grandmother say he would smell like to a witch, is a retrieval question. So we're going to look at the part where they're speaking about what he would smell like. So I've underlined this part here that says, what would I be smelling of? 
I asked. So at this point we know grandmother is going to answer with what he would be smelling of, so it will give us the answer to our question. So she says, dog droppings, my grandmother said. So we know the answer to question one is simply dog droppings. That is what the boy would smell like to the witch. And number two is find and copy the word that shows the boy was angry. So we're going to look at a word, look for a word that shows us that the boy was feeling angry. So a word that depicts anger. So if we read through, I've found one here. I'm going to underline. It says, I was outraged. So outraged means when you're exceptionally angry. So the word that we would write for the answer for number two would just be outraged because it's looking for one word to show that the boy was angry. For day two reading you have this page here which is page 25 and then you have pages 26 and this little part here of 27 to look at before answering your questions. So here are the questions for your day two reading. So once again, we have the key vocabulary at the top and then you've got your one star questions and your two star questions. So once you've finished those one star questions, move on to your two star questions. If you have completed the two star questions and you've marked them and you've got them right, or the majority of them right, I would then like you to have a go at your EXT question. As I've said before, I would like majority of you to challenge yourself with that EXT question. So to keep your brains active, and as I've said, really challenge yourself with that trickier question there. As usual, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask your teacher if you need any help.